you can see four images moving in a cube-like structure. Hey there, this is Nadine from Aquasoft and in this video I will show you how to use the 3D cube that's come with version 12. So let's start. You can see my timeline, I already have a cube, but as you know, a cube has six sides, but my cube only has four. And I will activate the live preview and drag the playhead over the timeline very slowly so you can see that the cube is moving, but it's only showing four sides and it's showing four images of the same shooting. At first, I want to show you where you can find the 3D cube. As I've already said, the 3D cube comes with version 12. You don't need Aquasoft stages for that. You can also find the cube in Slideshow 12. So what you do is just drag the cube into the timeline. And then you have six containers. One for the front, for the back, right, left, top and bottom. And at first we're going to fill all six sides so you can see how it actually works. Just um, go to your files and drag an image into the first container and make sure it has this red frame around it. I'm going to repeat this process with the same image. And always make sure you have this red frame. Now I have one and the same image six times on all the six sides of the cube. And now just let's drag the playhead over the timeline. And you see there's another cube. There's this one. You can change so many parameters of the cube. You can change the start position like so. Or you can change the rotation mode. I would encourage you to just play around with this and by playing around with it you will learn how it works and how you can utilize the axis for you or the rotation modes. And now I'm going to delete the bottom image and the top image and then I'm holding the control key and I'm clicking on each and every image that's left in my cube and I will change the fade in to none. So now I'm clicking on the frame of the cube object and in my timeline and I think I have to disable the live preview. And now you can see um, I'm going to delete my sample. You can see that it's not quite what we wanted. It's a little askew. And I'm going to change the parameters of the start position. Maybe we are looking at the front of the cube and make it bigger. And maybe we will choose a 90 degree angle so it's parallel to the frame. Now to the rotation mode. I want the cube to rotate at least once. So I enter a 1 and I'm changing the duration of every image. I'm again pressing the control key and clicking on each and every image and then I just drag it into the timeline a little bit further maybe for a duration of 10 seconds. Now let's look at our cube. Looks like this. Looks a lot like the one I showed you in the sample. And now if we want to have four different images just go to your files and then drag the files on the existing images and now you see the yellow dotted frame and when you have this frame just let go of the image and there it is. We'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Like this. Like this. Now let's look at the preview again. And there you have it. You can also click on the cube in the timeline and give this cube a little motion path. I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then move it in the middle. 
and then it's going to grow a little. And this movement should take, I would say, five seconds. Let's check this in the preview. This is our cube. And maybe we can say that the cube remains for one second in the center. Oh no, let's make it maybe three seconds. And then it should move outside the frame like so. I think this looks very dynamic and it's definitely an eye catcher. Maybe for an intro or an outro. Anyway, I hope it helps. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye!